And now, ladies and gentlemen, what you've all been waiting for, the man killer. The moment of truth has finally arrived. The book that couldn't be written is now the motion picture that couldn't be made. Myra Breckenridge. I'll be right with you, boys. Get your resumes out. Memo to Flagler and Flagler attorneys. Dear Charlie. Hmm, honey, that feels real good. Hey, uh, what's your name, honey? I'm Myra Breckenridge. You have a lot to learn. All you men have a lot to learn. And I've taken it upon myself to teach you. I'm the widow of your late nephew, Myron, and I've come to collect a half a million dollars. Myron's mother said, with her dime breath, go to your Uncle Buck and you tell that son of a bitch that I've got a copy of the will and I want my share to go to you. You realize once we cut it off, it won't grow back. Great bunch of boys here. Of course, you get the occasional weirdo, uh, uh, like anywhere, but the uh, greatest bunch of kids in Hollywood. You have all the kinky angles that are in right now. I mean, have you any that I don't know about? <laughs> oh, Leticia. What about studs? They don't call you the queen of the casting couch for nothing. Baby, I wanna love you, baby. I gotta have it, baby. Give it to me, baby. I'm hot to handle, baby. Give it to me now. How should a man act? You should ball chicks, that's how. Let's just have a nice, girly evening, and I'll tell you how I lost my virginity. You tell me how you lost yours. If only you were a man. You can't tell the wolf from Little Red Riding Hood these days. Because this uh, Meyer Breckenridge is more than a match for most men. Don't miss the most sensational scene in the history of the screen. Not there. <laughs> Am I a boy or a girl? I can't tell from here. <laughs> Myra Breckenridge is a dish. And don't you ever forget it. Here I come! Everything you've heard about Myra Breckenridge is true. 